This edition of Convene TV is brought to you by Visit Florida. Meetings industry professionals are seeing expanded hosted buyer programs, but there are underlying ethical issues to consider. For its April edition, Convene conducted a survey on ethics. It offers insight into common industry practices. One survey question asked if it's okay for planners to accept invitation to supplier events. 56% said yes when there's business on the table. 11% said it's okay even if there's no business on the table. So what does that mean for hosted buyer events where planners receive trips at no cost if they agree to meet with suppliers? We asked some industry professionals. So to me, hosted buyer um, is, is forcing many planners to not be truthful about the meetings they're doing, um, to not and it's forcing um, suppliers to make sure they have appointments, but the appointments may or may not really be qualified. And so we know that at least in, in at least in two cases of people who continue to be invited because it's warm bodies. It's what I call it's almost like um, seat fillers at the Oscars. For me personally, I don't like to participate in those, uh, and here's why. I have observed in uh, when I was a supplier, I participated in hosted buyer trade shows because the companies I worked for endorsed this. And I saw so many occasions, uh, if it was a hosted buyer trade show, there were so many occasions where there would be people there uh, as a hosted buyer who really had no intent of buying anything. They were on a trip because someone else was paying for it. The ones that we've participated in, the organizers have, a, have done a good job of, of vetting the buyers to ensure that they truly are buyers and that they, they can, they are the people that should be attending the event. Personally, you know, those that we've been involved with, we've had no issues with that. So hosted buyer programs are taking on really a life of their own and can create opportunities for abuse. Absolutely. Now the model certainly fulfills the face-to-face -face goals of the industry, but the perks that can come with these programs present questions about ethics. And then the new generation of planners, will they come to expect these perks? A question indeed. Well, certainly our thanks to our guests. And we want to point out that our guests are expressing their opinions and not giving advice. For an in-depth look at Convene's survey on ethics, pick up the April edition of Convene. This edition of Convene TV is produced by CNTV. I'm Ed Hyland. And I'm Kimberly Bottom. Thanks for watching.